Hey, anyway, we're starting today strong. We're up at six, and we're gonna cruise by the river. How's the view? Oh, dude, you wanna go peek? Here, I'll open the window for you. Let's get this nice curtain up the way. I could wake up to that every day. Yeah. That's some like Zen master shit, right? He wears his clothes. Yeah, look at that chicken. Hey, chicken! <laughs> like. Yeah. Why don't you go give like it's a, a MTV cribs <laughs> of our of our digs? Uh, we're hopefully made it to Sotipo. We're gonna buy gas a lot. We're gonna try to keep all of our uh, liquid chips in, and uh, <laughs> it's gonna be rad. It's gonna be great. Zed Master J. Get out of the way. Right now. Holy shit! The snake. gone it's been the most continuously steep terrain I've ever seen in my life even if you wanted to camp you couldn't because it's on like a 70% grade no matter where you're at uh, so here I am uh, guys left me in the dust uh, Poco de Plata uh, it's overheating so I gotta let it cool down we're uh, climbing up like 400 meters straight up and uh, of course due to my size I'm the slowest one on the pack but no one seems to bother to wait. So I'm out here by myself. Uh, I uh, just tried to cool the engine down by uh, pissing on it. And uh, it just steamed it off immediately. So it's, uh, it's quite hot. But uh, I'm going to stand here and wait till it cools down because the bike rides like it's supposed to when it's cool when I'm going downhill and or even on even grade where it can run at a nice uh, speed to be able to cool the engine because they're all air-cooled but 
right now I'm just gonna enjoy the view and uh, wait till uh, wait till Poco here uh, cools off. So I don't know, maybe maybe one of the guys will think I died and come back for me. But uh, as it is right now, I can only do like three miles an hour until the bike cools off. I can actually walk a lot faster uh, pushing the bike uphill. Uh, it's not uh, an option for me. So uh, I'm just gonna stand here. Lots of shitty rain and mud, and uh, also some unbelievable views and awesome riding. So it's the best of both worlds. Um, I also uh, overheated my bike, uh, so I couldn't ride up the hill anymore, but we got through that. And then uh, now we've decided that it's too far to get to the next city uh, before it'll be pitch black dark, so we're gonna go to bed early and uh, get up really, really early before light and start on the road. Our gas, our bikes are gassed up and we're uh, storing them right now. And uh, somebody should actually make sure that they, we can get them out first thing, but hopefully that won't be a problem. <laughs> Great that we made this decision. My dogs are wet. Everything else is good, okay? So we just got to the garage and park. And I don't know what that is. So. Daughter, daughter, girl. Like I don't. I ain't never seen no pig like that. That <laughs> skinny ass motherfucking pig. In this garage, and how you feel about it? I'm wet for weeks, baby. That is not a fucking pig, dude. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's There's not a pig. There's some meat curing in there, and it's got more neck than I've ever seen on a pig. What do you think about this place, Jay? It's, it reminds me of a, a homemade haunted Check house. Check out my room. Uh, Check this room. Shoes in town? This might be no. No. the realest oh, really? room I've ever read it before. What the fuck are we gonna do here? It doesn't have a roof. I've, I've been, I've been wondering, you know, materials, selecting materials and redoing my house. I was really enjoying flooring and or ceiling. What's that ceiling made out of? Uh, looks like a pretty standard blue tarp. <laughs> a non-waterproof version. <laughs> So the only heat source in this hotel is this light bulb. And my gloves are soaking wet and it's freezing cold, so we've got them, we've got them drying up there. Oh, well, it's five in the morning, five thirty in the morning. We're about to hit the road. Get a really early start. Hopefully do 270 kilometers this morning. Uh, 
uh, this day, <laughs> not this morning, but, uh, and, uh, the guys are getting ready upstairs in the hotel that is, like, basically just plywood walls, but I did have five alpaca blankets to sleep under, even though there was no heat, it was super cozy, probably the best sleep I've had since I've been here, so, <laughs> It was good. It was a good decision to not ride the rest of the way in the rain. Even though we stopped riding at like 4.30 and we probably could have pushed on for another hour and a half. It would have just been miserable and uh, I probably wouldn't have had as good a night's sleep. So here we are getting ready to go and uh, hopefully we'll make it uh, a good haul today. All right. Last night was freezing. At least I had 300 pounds of alpaca blankets. Today, the shoes are soaked. So Jeff, tell us what's going on here. So this bike isn't starting. Okay. So um What have we tried so far? A little bit of everything. But the next step is to try to bump start it. How do you do that? Um push it really fast, jump on it with my coat plug. sure what it is the bikes got sparky and fuel there is water in the gas that we got yesterday all of our bikes are running like shit um, he also lost his air filter yesterday so well, we've cleaned the carb twice now and can't find any problems with it it's got gas it's got spark it's just we're wondering if it possibly doesn't have compression or if the uh, timing chain, chain jumped It'll diesel if you give it a push start, but it won't it won't run. So keep bikes running. Uh, this guy just adjusted the timing a thirty thousandth of an inch by eye and fired up first kick. Uh, we've been fucking with this thing for two hours all morning and now it's running. So <laughs> Oh, and now cheese and potatoes. Gracias. We're at a mechanic shop that just fixed Cody's bike and mine's pooping in a hole behind the blue door. Mike. Open. Please don't be filming me. Really, dude? <laughs> Hey guys, uh, we just landed in the jungle. How does it feel outside? Fucking way better than a fucking mountain. Oh my god. This is sweet. This is sweet. They were.
Let's see what's going on here, Cody. Party. Probably not gonna be able to sew that up out here, so let's uh, get it covered. So we're at the hospital in Satipo. Cody just got stitches. <laughs> stitches get stitches. Now we're at the pharmacy. And then, I don't know what's next. Attempting to get all bikes repaired. So we are straight for the morning. We're gonna hit it at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So they attempt to fix Cody's front end. They don't have the parts. So they're just gonna piecemeal it together the best they can with washers. But at least it will uh, be a headlight. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. We're gonna put the spotlight on him. What do you gotta say? Where are the other drugs going? <laughs> Not such a cool guy now, are you? I'm gonna suck his brains up. Hey! <laughs> Talk to my talk to my stepdad Barano. <laughs> See what he did to my mom. You guys ain't gonna be talking so much shit on the playground tomorrow. Oh look at his tongue. <laughs> oh <laughs> Wait, <what's that? laughs> be careful. 